Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson. And in this one, we're just gonna talk very quickly about the frequency of testing. So we're not even gonna use the board in this one. So I'm just gonna ad lib it and just talk to you a little bit about some research that we're aware of that helps patients manage their type one diabetes and get the best outcomes for themselves. And really what we see is in practices, the patients that test their glucose levels the most regularly tend to have the best glucose results and the less chance of long-term complications. The, the less frequently you test, the more chance you have of variable glucose levels um, and actually getting on top of that management. And sometimes it can feel like you're chasing your glucose levels. I meet a very wide range of patients from people that don't test their glucose levels and do it by feel which we really wouldn't recommend because you can't put a number to feeling. And often when I speak to patients, they'll say, oh, I feel low and we'll test them and they're in the 20s and vice versa. So by feel, you really can't, you can't depend on how you feel. And I've yet to meet a patient who does it by feel, who has really had a HbA1c anywhere near target, if I'm honest. Um, then you also have the people that might test somewhere between once and four times a day. Now, obviously the once a day, it's better than nothing, but again, you might not actually be seeing the effects of your insulin throughout the day. So every time you take insulin, we'd recommend that you do a glucose test because we don't want you taking insulin blind because insulin has an action. It does things, it lowers glucose levels. If you're eating carbohydrate containing food, it increases glucose levels. So without testing, you really don't know where you are, which is why as a bare minimum, we recommend four times a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, evening, because that's nice structured time points throughout the day as to see what your glucose levels have been doing, usually based on the insulin you've taken for those meals. But then when we see people go above and beyond that, they actually start to get even better control. And don't get me wrong, this could be considered quite excessive and there's always gonna be a um, life balance um, sort of ratio going on here. But people that have flash glucose monitors like the Freestyle Libre, I've seen some patients testing up to 40 times a day. Now that's probably quite excessive, but in fairness, they've also achieved 96% in target between five and 10 on their glucose levels, which is remarkable really, because that's pretty much nearly 100%. It's like almost not having diabetes, but they're having to pay for it in order to do it. Now, if they're happy to do that, then fair enough. But for some people, that would be too much. So there could be a happy medium there. Remember, with type one diabetes, we're not looking for perfection. If you're in target 70 to 80% of the time, you're doing a great job and you're at really no increased risk of complications compared to someone else who's above that target or someone without diabetes. Um, obviously, you're gonna have a long glucose exposure if you've been diagnosed in childhood. So there might be a slightly increased risk, um, but 70% in target really is good enough. So it's that sort of like diabetes life balance that you need to find for yourself. Um, and you know, if it's the difference between testing four times a day and getting 70% in target, or testing 20 times a day and being 75% in target, you're probably better off at 70%. But there is that relationship between more tests, better control. So if you're at four, maybe six a day would be better. If you're at six, eight could also do you better. And anyone that is using things like the Freestyle Libre, you know, CCGs like to see you using that at least eight times a day, not only because that's where it becomes cost neutral in terms of finger pricking, but also because that's how you get the most out of the data that it gives you. So just a very quick video there. So just have a think about how frequently you're testing and what works for you. If you're not testing very frequently or below that four a day, I'd urge you strongly to start trying to increase your frequency because you'll find just by testing um, and getting that data, your glucose levels will be much better controlled. We'll leave it there guys. Thanks for listening again and I'll see you at the next video.